When it comes to a simple whole oven roasted chicken, this winter dinner recipe is fabulous to enjoy right now and save for all sorts of easy meal prep chicken dishes later. It's the most tender, juicy, flavorful chicken recipe I've ever made with hints of classic Mediterranean spices, lemon and fennel. Life in my Mediterranean kitchen does not get any better. Let's start by prepping a few ingredients. Slice one lemon in half lengthwise and into thick slices. Do the same with a large bulb of fennel or a large yellow onion. But I'm really partial to the sweet flavor of fennel in this dish, if you can get it, and rough chop one to two cloves of garlic. Next, squeeze the juice from one lemon and set it aside. We'll make the seasoning base with one tablespoon of that classic spice mix, Herbe de Provence, one tablespoon of sea salt, and plenty of fresh ground pepper. Pound it until it's finely ground and blend it with one third a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Time to preheat your oven to 450 degrees. Being able to put an entire healthy dinner on the table in one single pan and know I've just made a whole bunch of easy meal prep options for later is my kind of recipe. And this whole roasted chicken definitely fits that bill. It's my favorite way to roast a chicken. It's so juicy and flavorful, it cooks to perfection. And if you've never tried roasting a chicken before, just wait till you see how easy it is. This is gonna become one of your favorites too. Now let's work on the chicken. I usually ask my butcher to do this part, but I wanted you to see just how easy it is to flatten out a chicken so that it all cooks evenly in a casserole pan. Cut right through the breastbone. It's the opposite of a technique called spatchcocking a chicken, where you remove the backbone, but surprisingly, this is how it's done in Spain, where they call it a la rana, or like a frog. I was amazed at how much more flavorful and juicy the breast meat is when it rests on the bottom. Now flip it over. You can see how easily it tucks together in a nice and even thickness. Just give it a press to flatten the backbone. It's time to prepare an oven safe pan by layering the lemon slices, fennel and garlic in a bed on the bottom. My largest cast iron casserole is really ideal for this. Now lay the chicken in skin side down and baste it with half the seasoning mix. Then turn it over Tuck it into the pan and finish coating the tops and the sides. It's ready to go into that 450 degree oven for 30 minutes. If you're interested in a few meal prep ideas, stick around until the end when I'll share three tips that make it easy to use up this whole chicken in our two-person household in less than a week. After 30 minutes, remove the pan and add a quarter cup of white wine or water and put it right back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. You know, here's another real advantage to this type of cast iron cooking. I can go from the oven direct to the table, keep the entire meal hot a lot longer, and minimize cleanup. No extra serving dishes to wash, which of course makes George extra happy. You'll want to check the temperature for doneness. The thickest part should register to between 155 and 160. And I nailed it! Now sprinkle the lemon juice all over the top and cover it up for 10 minutes more and let it rest. The skin is crispy and so flavorful, the meat is juicy and tender, and just wait till you see what we do with the pan drippings.
First, give it a sprinkle of fresh parsley and it's ready to serve, but not before I sneak a bite. I have to confess, here is the real reason I like to roast chicken. Once you remove the layer of fat that floats to the top, these pan drippings will make the most incredible sauce and soup base you have ever had. Move all but a few lemon slices and I puree everything, the juices and all the fennel or onion in a processor until I have a nice thick slurry. I love to add a few spoonfuls to a dinner serving when I plate it and save the rest to make the best chicken soup of your life. This liquid gold goes straight into the fridge or the freezer depending on when I'm ready to make that soup. The rest of the chicken gets sliced and shredded and stored in the fridge for almost a week. It'll easily last three to four days for salads, burritos, or one bowl meals, but I like to use the bulk of it for chicken soup that stretches this work into eight meals that can be enjoyed months from now from the freezer. If you have some favorite leftover tricks for roast chicken too, make sure to let me know down in the comments. I love hearing what great ideas others have for healthy ways to double dip on recipes. Now that you've learned how easy it is to make this winter dinner workhorse that can work all week, you're going to want to watch this playlist for other fast pantry recipes that can make weekly meal prep a snap. Just click here.